Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. I'm Vince. Today we're going to be talking about different manipulations with the hand. So you're not only going to be throwing punches and elbows and strikes with your arms, you can also use it to control and manipulate your opponents. We're going to look at posts, measures, traps, and more. Let's take a look. Okay, before we look at each individual technique, I want to share a fight tip that I got from Crew Rong of Evolve MMA in Singapore about three months back. So he said when posting out to keep distance, use the part of the glove where your thumb meets your finger to ensure better traction and to go for the throat. And you can do this with MMA gloves and boxing gloves. It's these specific details, these golden nuggets that makes training with these top level coaches at Evolve MMA so invaluable. And guys, I'm headed back in about two months to host a seminar and I want you to come train with me. Watching fight videos online is cool, but now you have the opportunity to train with some of the best coaches and fighters in the world. Live the life you imagine. Travel to Singapore for a martial arts training vacation and an experience that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Now there are limited spots for this event and we've already sold a bunch of tickets. And so if you're interested, click the link in the description below and grab your tickets now. Questions or looking for deals on hotels? Shoot my wife an email at marie at fighttips.com. Okay, the first technique we're going to look at is called the post. It's pretty much a forearm push. When you see football players with the ball and they're running down the field, they're keeping people at bay with their posting arms. So we're going to do that same exact thing in fighting to create distance and to knock our opponent off balance. So let's say I come in with a, a knee, a rear knee, and I, I end up pretty close to Vince, right? I'm in close tight. If I want to create distance for a body kick or for a low kick, instead of jamming myself up here, I'm going to post out. So I'm just going to use my lead arm and I'm just like I'm throwing a jab, I'm gonna hit with the palm of my hand. I can do this with boxing gloves, I can do this with MMA gloves, and I can go to his shoulder, his chest, his neck, or his face. Vince is my friend, so I'm gonna go to the shoulder in this case to create a little bit of distance, and then I follow up with the strike at the desired range. So use that post to really just create distance. And remember, don't do a push-up motion. Don't use all of your muscles and drain yourself. Try to use everything at once. Pop your hips, straighten out your arm, knock them back, and then follow up with your attack. Okay, the next step is the measure, and it's just that. We're measuring our range, making sure we're close enough for our next attack. So we see this often in boxing, but we see in MMA too. John Jones uses it, although he keeps his fingers splayed, and he often gets his fingers in his opponent's eyes, and he gets fouled for it. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. We can use our knuckles, or we can open up our hand and literally push. But we see this used a lot on mitts when people are practicing boxing combinations, where they go cross measure and they're measuring if i'm making contact with vince then obviously i'm close enough to hit him right i'm touching him if i'm outside of here well then this just kind of keeps him at bed right he sees something's out there he's going to have to get around this at, at some point some way so i'm just leaving this out here of course i'm exposed though my body's exposed if he threw like a looping overhand right he could catch me too so i have to be careful and i have to act quick i can't just leave my arm out there the whole time so what I like to do is go cross measure, and then I can find it. If they're lowering their level, then I lower my level with them, and I just keep my measure on them. So I go cross measure, and then from here, once I see an opening or I find an opening, I can even pull the hand down and follow up. So it's very similar to the post, except we're just using it as a measure. We're not really attacking or keeping them off balance. We're blinding them a little bit, we're keeping them away, and then we're firing our next attack. The next one is a frame. Now, Floyd Mayweather uses this one perfectly in boxing, and it's using our elbow to frame our opponent and keep them away or to control them. So let's say I throw a jab, but Vince slips it, and then he tries to step in. Well, I'm gonna bend my arm, and I'm gonna try to keep it 90 or outside 90 degrees to just keep it structurally sound, because if he gets in too much past that 90 degree bend, he's gonna cave my arm and he's in a good spot. So I wanna make sure I use my lat and I have outside 90 when I frame, he's here. From here I can go with the uppercut, I can go with the hand, right hand over top, or I can create an angle and even pull down on his head. Now I got a really nice angle to follow up with punches and kicks. Of course, you can't pull on the hip head in boxing, so utilize that frame with controlling the head in MMA or kickboxing. Okay, the last one is traps, and this is pulling down on the hands to create an opening. And we can pretty much use all of the motions that we've done so far with these. Vince actually has a great tutorial on fight tips. You guys will have to look for that. Link is in the description below. So pretty much what I'm doing is pulling down on the hands. I can reach past to the outside and pull on the wrist, but I'm kind of uh, working against his bigger muscles. If I punch above the guard and pull down, it's a lot easier, you'll notice, to, to create that opening. So what I can do is punch above, pull down, so jab above the hand, pull down for the right hand. I can do the opposite side too with the right hand, pull that one down. But you want it to flow in combos, right? So what I like to do is break the tempo up and to break the pace up. So I'll go light, I'll just touch, 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 boom, go with that big punch, or the opposite side, touch, 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 pull down. I create that opening. And what I like to teach is, imagine your hands are handcuffed together. Because you don't want to reach with this right hand, 
pull it down, and then start to throw, because by the time I get there, he's gonna bring his hand back up, or he's gonna counter me, right? So you wanna keep it nice and tight. Not traditional handcuffs, maybe a little bit longer, but we try to keep our hands very close together. When we pull, we punch, pull and punch, we bop, should be uh, the beat of the tempo. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So remember, you don't always have to use your hands for strikes. You can dictate the range, you can control your opponent, or knock them off balance. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs. <laughs>